Up next, you know, I love these guys' nicknames. I hope they live up to it, but it's Tarzan versus Hammer. I know you're super excited about Sean Strickland. This is your boy. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, this guy was a UFC prospect back like 2015, 2016. And that's why I really like this guy. Funny enough, Tarzan. Kid has a shaved head now. I'm calling him a kid. I know. I'm like, yo, this man better do some shit in the ring. Because yeah, he does yeah. not look like Tarzan. And, and that's where I think we're going to see him, right? Motorcycle accident. That's why we haven't seen him fight for a while. Unfortunately, oh, wow. that's kept him up for a while. He's even gone on interviews and talked about his injuries. Te torn, torn pectoral all these kinds of things, but he's, he's surrounding himself by, with really good fighters right now. I think he's jumping from camp to camp. He's trying to see what he can put together. He, he's decided who's going to be in his corner right now, so it's not like it's, he's all over the place. I think he's just trying to see how much more he can learn as he tries to ramp up his, his MMA training and his UFC career again. So I, he I, has I, a phenomenal I'm, record. Phenomenal record. Yeah, and so like, that's the big thing about this guy. So we're talking about losses against guys like Ponzinibbio, Kamaru Usman, and your boy, Zaleski. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> here's my favorite part about this fight. Doesn't have to cut weight anymore. He hated cutting weight to at welterweight. Now he gets the fight at 185. So, you know, welterweight, young, you know, anything goes, Sean Strickland, who's cutting weight like crazy, or bug knee, torn pectoral, doesn't have to cut weight, Sean Strickland. I think he's going to still be technically sound. I think Jack Marshman is a one-dimensional fighter. So even the way I think Strickland breaks this fight down is he knows he's better than him, and it's unfortunate to say it that way, but he himself has said it. There's an interview with him. He knows that he's going to probably try to trade with him for the fun of it. Now, if I'm Sean Strickland, you have to be very aware of what you get yourself into, right? Yeah. Don't be, dance, don't be dancing for too long. <laughs> that's my that's my big fear there. So yeah, we, absolutely. Classic, classic setup here. We got a guy making a comeback. We got an old school fighter really willing to just trade blows. What do you think is going to pop off here? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the technical aspect all day. Even with those injuries? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're aware of those injuries, you know right. what I mean? And so mm -hmm. you're, you're going to try and play this out to your strengths. And mm -hmm. if you have more tools in your arsenal to try and get you further in the, mm -hmm. in, in the boat, I'm going to take that route over somebody who's literally just trying to knock you out. Mm -hmm. so. so with that with that mentality in mind, very similar thought process there that I would say, and, and even with those injuries, I think that technical side is just going to be so much higher where I'm kind of visualizing with everything said, a minus 180 to a minus 240 type of favorite, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's higher. And I'd be shocked if it's lower. It is actually a little higher. It's about minus 265. Wow. Um, yeah, and it, clearly, you know, Vegas sees the same thing that you do, just kind of one-dimensional. How is this man really going to pull off this win? Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, Pies. We're probably laying that immediately. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for uh, broadcasting that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to say Miles John and, and, and a... Sean Strickland parlay right now is something that, you know, Mr. The Casual and the Bet might want to consider. Oh, man, you're telling me that already? I'm getting that at plus money? Give it to me now, man. Let's go. <laughs>